Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a good week. And most of you know why I haven't been here. Well, it's been two reasons. One, I did get that appeal on Monday. And so I had intended on making some videos. But along with that, I also either, I can't decide if I got sick or if I'm, my allergies, my fall allergies are just acting up. So I've been taking my Zyrtec all week and running the humidifier and John even bought one of those um, air purifiers to put in our bedroom. And, um, but my mom was telling me that my granddaddy was real allergic to goldenrod and that is everywhere. You can just see it all along the highway and everything. So I'm thinking maybe that's it. But Monday I started feeling a little bit bad and I got the peel, but Tuesday and Wednesday I felt terrible. And um, so I did post every day on Instagram though, um, the progress of my peeling. And um, so they're not pretty. <laughs> I looked at some of those pictures and I was like, I cannot believe I just posted that because it's not that I'm, I don't know, going out without makeup on just doesn't bother me that much at all. I always just put sunscreen on, but just having a picture out there is weird. But anyway, so, um, and I am still peeling. I just am still peeling, I don't know, you can see it I just peeled a little piece off over here and I think my face is probably going to peel again but not in like sheets of skin it's going to just kind of slough off it's um, real flaky right here where I peeled at first and um, I still have I don't know if you can see it but I had a bunch of like flaky skin and stuff around my hairline because you know, it's that weird thing where it peels right to the edge and then it just wants to flake up. So, I really can't give my final thoughts on the peel, but I can say this. I was, first I was disappointed that when I got there that she wasn't going to do the strongest peel. That is what I had in my mind that we were going to do. And when I got there and I was already laying down and everything, I asked her which one we were doing and she said the medium. And I said, well, I really wanted to do the strongest one. She says, well, normally we start people out on the lightest one. She said, so we want to start you out on the medium and then we can work our way up, which I don't know about you, but I hate that. I hate when I'm like getting my hair done or getting something done. And it seems like every time you go and you're like looking forward to something and, the, and then you get there and the person says, well, next time we'll do this and this and this, you know, or next time we'll color it this way and this way or next time you know we'll do the deepest peel it's like so disappointing and so I was disappointed but I thought to myself I said you know I'm gonna she's the professional I'm gonna just you know not gonna worry about it I don't say anything and just gonna go with it but I still wish I had gotten the deepest peel because that peel was not that strong to me now to someone who has never done it before it probably would just freak you out because two words <laughs> burn and itch itch being the most the biggest one i mean it itches like just crazy especially like my neck right here that part really really itched so bad and you have to be so careful not to scratch it and i didn't want to put a lot of lotion or rescue cream or anything on it because i didn't want to I wanted that skin to go ahead and come off. I don't want to just kind of like glue it down, you know. And so they told me to, if I could, to try to wait until I had already started peeling before I started putting that on. So a couple of times I did put the rescue cream on just right here, which was just like an aloe. And um, I'm not sure if it had something else in it too. It had something else like, I keep wanting to say prednisone, but not that, but you know what I mean. Some type of um, cortisone. I think cortisone. Put something like that on it. Um, so I did good and I'm basically all peeled off. I don't know if there's any skin hanging anywhere because you know but, part of um, the effects of this are um, You know when your skin is kind of injured like that a controlled Peel it, you know sends all this stuff up to the surface to help your skin um, Just recuperate and so it's supposed to help with the collagen for fine lines and supposed to help with everything for elasticity and all that stuff and that's the kind of stuff I'll see in months to come so I can't say that I don't like it I just can't say that oh it's the best peel I ever had because still to this day that vitalized peel was the best peel I ever had but I'm thinking that is because she put it she said I'm gonna go I'm gonna do a second pass so she put it on me twice and I think it just really 
got me good. But when I did that, I'm telling you, that skin, when it came off, was just like, I don't know, I hate to say thick, but it was just different. It was, a, it was, this was kind of just like if you had gotten sunburnt and it peeled off a little bit. It wasn't like it was in great big sheets or anything, and it wasn't like it was raw skin underneath. It just came off just like a sunburn would. So, if you haven't ever had a peel, I think this will be a good one for you to start with. Okay, but of course, I did do some shopping this week. I didn't really go many places. I had done some internet shopping, and then yesterday, I did get out and went to Ulta and um, bought a few things. And <laughs> this is going to be funny, and I hope this does not freak her out, but this, so much of what I'm going to show you today was inspired by Taylor. And her YouTube name is Well Tailored, and then her Instagram, I think, is Taylor Tot. And I just subscribed to her probably and started following her probably about a month ago, maybe. I saw it was funny, I was watching TT Sandra, and she was doing her outfit of the day, and she was showing some shoes, some flats, and um. I just happened to glance down and saw where Taylor had left a funny comment about her balling flats, balling out flats or something like that. And I don't know what it was. I just, I love funny people and I clicked on her name. I don't know, maybe there was something in the comment that made me think she did videos or something. I don't know, but I clicked on her name and there she was. She does videos and she's much younger than I am, but we have a lot of the same likes. And when I watched her videos, she likes a lot of the same looks that I do, but yet she was talking about different products than most everybody else that I had watched. So, a lot of this haul is inspired by Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. And I think you guys would love her. I love that she uses high-end products, but she's not, she's smart about it. You can tell just different things she says, you know, um, I remember her saying in one of her hauls or something that she had gotten the MAC um, Clear Brow Gel because it was less expensive than the Anastasia and she was going through the Anastasia so much. And um, then this really made sense to me. It made me think when she said that she usually doesn't buy a lot of lip glosses because they're so hard to use up. And, you know, she would rather buy something else. And I just love that. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be smarter with my purchases. And I have definitely slipped over and over but it is on my mind and I am trying so that helps a little bit so um, first of all I will just I've got everything here and I also got a huge gift this week box of stuff from Grace and it's so much stuff that I thought about doing a separate video but I didn't get to so I'm gonna just go through some of that stuff too okay First of all, let me start with what I've got right here, which is um, one thing that Taylor had shown in her video, and it got my attention. It was It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And like she was saying, how smart is that for, the, for it to be hydrating, a primer, and it's um, also kind of an illuminating type color, and it's, I just used it today for the first time, so I really can't give a review other than um, when I went to Ulta yesterday, Ulta yesterday, this is one of their hot picks of the week or something like that. So instead of being $30, I believe it was $15. And that's what made me go ahead and really get it and try it. And it comes out like this. It's real creamy and it even has that consistency. When I tried a little bit on my hand yesterday at Ulta, it has that feeling of a primer, you know, where it's, you can feel that it's like filling in the fine lines but it does dry smooth and it looks pretty so i thought well i'm gonna give that a try because i'm always interested in under eye concealers and stuff like that and the last suggestion was the cargo and i have just loved it so i always try to you know pay attention and so far i really like that and this week until sunday this is one of their hot picks at ulta so it will be a good time for you to try it and then another one of their hot picks they had a cargo eyeshadow palette that was really pretty for twenty dollars but it just it reminded me a lot of the Lorac pro palette which i have and um i just knew i didn't need it so i was strong i really considered getting it because it was just twenty dollars but i held back and i'm glad i did because i've gotten some other eyeshadows this week but this is one of their hot picks too and it's the Lorac front of the line pro 
eyeliner. It's the liquid eyeliner and it's in the pen form, kind of like the Stila. And I really love my Stila and I love the Kat Von D that Holly sent me. And then Chef Kathy has sent me some. So what I did is I got the dark brown. And that is what I have on today and I really like it. I've been looking for a dark brown because sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I really like black, but then you know, later on the day, I'll look in the mirror and I'm like, gosh, that's harsh. You know, I wish all I can see is black liner. It just depends. Sometimes I don't care. But anyway, I think I will enjoy the dark brown one. And um, Kelly really loved this too at Ulta. She was, and she said that she really, really loved the Smashbox primer. And she tells me the truth. So then I was asking her about bronzers. I have the hardest time. First and foremost, my favorite bronzer ever, ever, ever is that... Laura Mercier Ritual, and I just can't think of anything that compares to it, and I like using it. I feel bad when I use it, like on my videos, because it's not available anymore, and sometimes I don't, sometimes I just want a bronzer and not that pink tone, so I've been having a hard time. A lot of my bronzers just don't show up like I want them to. I really want to use them for contour, and so anyway, I was asking her about the different bronzers, and she brought up the Bare Minerals Warmth. And I have had this, and I think I either gave my last one to Brooke. I'm not sure what I did with it, but um, it was, I think, $15, $14, or $15. So I got it again because I remember um, Rachel that used to cut my hair a long time ago, her saying that this is one of the only bronzers that she could get to show up, and she had, like, olive skin. So I used it today, and I like it okay. I think I'm just not as crazy about the loose minerals in a bronzer because I did have the Laura Mercier I have it in a big I have a huge box of stuff I'm going to list on my website tonight makeup that I've gone through and um, hopefully I'll take the pictures and have it up before I, um, I also video, think this would be good for warming up your complexion and I also think I'm just not going to like my makeup that much today because my skin's kind of rough and peely I didn't use my liquid foundation I just went straight and put on you know my Laura Mercier so, okay, let's just go right to the rest of the stuff that Taylor kind of inspired me to buy. And I did an Instagram post, I believe, last weekend. Um, I watched one of her videos, and she had used a bunch of Burberry shadows. And so I got mine out, and I only had four. And when I got them out, I thought, you know, I need to use these more often because I really like them. And um, I read in one of her comments or on her video or something, or maybe Instagram, that those were her favorite posted shadows. posted that video, or when I posted that picture on Instagram, I asked you guys what Burberry shadows. I needed some light ones. I have like taupe brown, midnight brown, almond, and rosewood were the four that I have. And um, the fact that they have lasted through all of my blog sales says something, says I must like them. So the ones I ended up getting and the ones that you guys suggested, I did not get one that I thought I had gotten. I, I had a couple of different little um, carts going at the same time. I had a Saks and then I got, I think Saks was out of one of these. I got a couple of them from Burberry and I wanted, I saved this just to show you all these boxes here. I want to show you how these shadows came from Burberry. Um, it was just two shadows. And they came in this box all wrapped up with this nice Burberry card and just paper. I mean, I felt guilty. I felt like, gosh, I can't believe they wasted all of this on me <laughs> in those two shadows. But um, I actually did a chat with one of their sales reps. You can email them back and forth. And um, I asked her what lipsticks Rosie Huntington Whiteley used and of course they asked me do you know in which ad it was and I said no I said just in general and they said blush and prune which I already had blush but I didn't have prune but I didn't want to get it that night because I was getting shadows and I thought well I'll just get that next time but anyway so what I did get from them was let's see um okay then the number one shadow that everybody told me I needed to get was pale barley and of course they don't make it anymore and I believe um, somebody nice told me there was one on eBay for like 40 some dollars which it's not that I would mind paying it but I just I don't know I always wonder if they're really you know authentic because I've bought some other stuff on eBay that wasn't authentic and I don't know I still thought about it but then 
somebody, I don't know if it was Ta Taylor or somebody had posted where they wrote Burberry and said they were still going to come out with a new tissue. My, my, no, my allergies are still acting up. Okay, so anyway, I got into my head that at the whatever the pale barley might come back. So, but I had written the representative at Burberry that night. We were emailing back and forth, and she said what was comparable to that was this one, which is um, oh goodness, I had it in my hand. It is the gold pearl, and I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know what color pale barley is, but this is just kind of like a yellowy, goldy color. And I'm going to keep it because I'm sure that it's pretty and I haven't used it yet. Um, I haven't used a lot of these because I didn't wear makeup for three or four days. Three days, I think. So anyway, I got that and then I believe I got from them Trench. Because I believe um, several of you have told me that that was a good light. Because I needed some light colors. All I had were all those dark colors. So I did get trench, which is just like a tan, just the color of a really, really light trench coat. And um, then I think when I was getting a lipstick, I put this in my cart, and this is porcelain. And so I believe um, I saw Taylor use this in one of her tutorials as a highlight. They're all so pretty, and they do blend so well. So those are the three shadows I got, and I meant to get, it's a medium warm brown. I can't remember the name of it. I believe it's like hazelnut or something like that. I meant to get that, and then I believe I'm going to try their black because I love a good black shadow, and um, so that is my plans for that, and then my friend Colleen, Colleen Rothschild, she has been in New York. She's getting ready to, like I said, launch her skincare, and she's been doing her all her, um, what am I trying to say, not um, her press, doing, doing all her press stuff. And anyway, she, her and I were going back and forth texting one night about eyeshadows, and I asked her which one her favorite black was and all this stuff, and she had told me that this was her favorite eyeshadow and that she wears it almost every day. And it was a brand I had never heard of, Claudio, Claudio Riaz, or Riaz, Riaz. And I was intrigued because I love trying new makeup and it is sold at Barney's. So I ordered it. I just thought about it this week and messaged her and ordered it. And it comes in this neat little, I mean, it just looks different. I think that's neat. And um, it's just a single and it's number 12. I'm not sure if it even has a name, but um, you know, I just noticed that it has that little, I wonder if it comes, Oh, okay, so I guess you can pop this up. I'm not sure, but anyway, this is what I have on today. All I did was start off with, I believe I used Urban Decay, Naked in the Crease, and a little bit, first I did Naked in the Crease, and then I did this on the outer corner and blended it in, and you can see how well it blended. I mean, it was so, just went on like a dream, just blended right in, and then I used my favorite Bobbi Brown Naked or nude. Is it Bobby Brown Naked? Nude? One of those. I'll put the name right here. It's the one that, I believe it's, I believe it's Naked. Um, I put, used it to kind of blend it out just a little bit because I felt like the, the Urban Decay one wasn't quite warm enough, but I love that. So if you have ever tried this brand and you know of anything else, the lip, I love that they all look like this, but the lip um, stain or lip gloss kind of intrigued me a little bit, but this, you know, I wanted to try this first. This was on my list. So thank you, Colleen, for that. And thank you, Taylor, for all your inspiration this week. I love it. I love when I find, I call it fresh meat. I love it when I find somebody that, because, gosh, after you've been watching for so long and doing this for so long, it's kind of like you've seen the same stuff over and over. And I'm just past the point of getting every MAC collection or everything new that comes out at Chanel. I just feel like I've done that for so long. And there's a new palette, a new Urban Decay palette out, and I just feel like I've done that for so much. I'm trying to be pickier and try to trying to try new stuff that I haven't seen. So I was I appreciated that good inspiration. Moving right along with my Taylor stalking. One day on Instagram, and I told you guys I love Instagram. This is one of my favorite things because I can do it in the car. A lot of times, my, I charge my phone by my bed now because it just charges quicker than trying to plug it into my computer. 
I'll just scroll through Instagram, like if there's nothing on TV. One thing I did get this week, last weekend I did buy the big collection of all of the Sex and the Cities and the two movies. And I'm glad I thought about telling you this because the collection was at Best Buy. We were looking, John was getting something, he was fixing somebody's computer, and I think Will got something. We all got something. Brooke is looking at different things. And um, so I went over there and they had that collection, but it was $220. And so I brought it up to the register when we were checking out. And John said, are you going to get that? And I said, no. I said, I'm just going to see if it's, maybe if it's on sale. I said, because I'm not paying that much for it. And he said, I'll go ahead and get it. You know, you'll love it. And I said, no. I said, I've heard people say that it goes on sale. So she did the little gun and it wasn't on sale. And I said, okay, I'll just wait. And she said, do you have your smartphone? She said, if you can find it, you know, we price match any of our competitors. So... And she said, and we price match Amazon as long as it's sold by Amazon. And so I instantly pulled it up. I believe Target, I can't remember if it was Target or Amazon. Somebody had it for $120. So I got it for $120. So if you want it, go and do that because they'll price match it. And I have enjoyed it. I'm still on season two. And it's those goofy ones where they, you know, stop and talk to you and stuff. But I've enjoyed it. And, I, you know, I've been checking out Carrie's clothes and her shoes and stuff like that so anyway where was I going with this whole sex in the city thing I don't know oh um Instagram oh anyway I, I know what it was I was talking about what, looking at that at night anyway so looking at Instagram one day Taylor had a really pretty lip on and I saw where Vanessa bombshell sweet wanted to know what lipstick she had on and it was a Burberry lipstick called pink apricot and I just got this yesterday I think I ordered this and one of those shadows from Saks and it just got here and I believe it's, it must be a different um must be a different finish because it looks different than the it's number 301 um let's see lip velvet so it's different than the other lipsticks I have from Burberry and it's a really pretty pink apricot color it reminds me a little bit of Tom Ford Spanish pink and I'm not gonna put it on now because I have another one that she suggested on but um, I put it on as soon as I got it yesterday and I loved it so it's real pretty and I love all my Burberry lipsticks they're some of my favorites okay get to throw that away now Okay, in one of her tutorials, I believe in a couple of her tutorials, she was using this one. And that's what I love is it's all this new stuff that I haven't tried. And I didn't, had not even heard of this lipstick. It is NARS Promiscuous. And this is what I have on today. And I think that so many of you would love this color. It is a nude, but it's a different. It is like a golden tan kind of color. And I have it on today with... My Trish McAvoy Barely There liner, and then this, and then I put on a little bit of Pink Sunset by Bobbi Brown gloss, just to make it a little glossier, and I love it. It's such a different lip. It's a little bit more of a pinky brown color, I guess, you know, by the time I combined them all, but I love that. When I first got it, I thought, hmm, that looks, wasn't it what I expected, but it's totally different than anything I have. And um, like I always say, I think this would look good on redheads too. I think it would look good on anyone. And um, I think it would go with a lot of different lip liners. So I love that. It would go good with like Max Spice and, you know, all those just spicy lip liners and natural and bare and all that stuff. It would go good with those. So, and I think this is going to be my very last Taylor inspired item. Um, and then I'll probably just go to my gift. But she had posted a picture of a girl wearing sunglasses, which you guys know is one of my, let's see, strongest weaknesses, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and she said, if anybody knows what these glasses are, and I saw where someone had listed them, so I ended up going to Sunglass Hut, and they didn't have them there, but they will order if you pay there and order there, it's free overnight shipping. So that's what I did, and I got them this week, and I love them. I love Ray-Bans still, even over the Chanel ones that I just got. I'm not as crazy about those as I am the Ray-Bans. I actually probably like these better. And I loved the color. See, and they didn't have these, so I would have never seen them. But um, I just love these. I love the 
um, what is it, the gradient lenses, and I love the color. It's like a blue-black. And I did not have any silver Ray-Bans. I have gunmetal, and I have gold, and I have the, you know, um, blue lensed ones. And um, so I like these a lot. I've been wearing them all week. And I, like I said, I ordered them off of some Get ready for lots of stuff here. Okay, she sent me a huge box of goodies. She said she had already started getting some stuff together, and then she sent me some other stuff for my birthday, too. She sent me way too much stuff, Grace. Thank you so much. Her and her daughter both watch me, and you can tell because everything, first of all, I love it. Every single thing has a little note on it telling me why she likes it, why she thinks, you know, I'll like it and everything. And, um, okay, I'm just going to start. She says she has a CCO near her, and she bought me a Tom Ford lipstick. And it is the, let's see, Vanilla Suede. And I am so glad because I've had this before and did not know how to wear it. But I have gotten so much better at wearing these light colors now because I've realized that the trick is to take your lip liner and fill in the edges and then wear this just in the center. So I'm so looking forward to, I could not decide, matter of fact, I just got it from my bathroom because I couldn't decide whether to put this on or the NARS today. But, um, so I love that. And it's in the old uh, Tom Ford container and I like that. I don't know. I feel like it looks so, it almost looks vintage. I don't know. Even when it was new, it almost looked she like that. She sent me this I love that. Bare Mineral Shadow. Um, she said it's her favorite summer shadow. She wears it with Pebble in the Crease and it is the Nude Beach Bare Mineral Shadows. And you guys know I love these. I love those shadows. And sometimes I think, why don't I use those more? And I need to. It's just, the only thing is they're a little messy but they're so easy if you use a good base. And then she said this was too cute for you not to have that she has one too for her iPhone. And I need my iPhone case has gotten so dirty. So I'm going to change this on there as soon as I show it to you. But it's got the lipstick and the lips on it. And here's my Ray-Ban receipt. Let me see if I can tell you right now um, the model of those. Here they are. Um, it, the item number... Um, it's the large silver with blue is what it says Ray-Ban they were uh, 154 and the item number was 8052893070693 if you're interested in those because I love those okay so I can put this away and um, she sent this to John and Will they are some cookies. Let's see. It says a little something for Will and John. We are Portuguese, and my daughter and I and son love them. They look like something we would like. This looks like something I would like. I love like sugar cookies or shortbread cookies and stuff like that. So I haven't even shown those to them, so I could show you guys first. And then this is so neat. Okay. She had these made for me. This little container for my empties. Isn't that so neat? I love it because I usually just use the just some old bag or something so now i'm going to have a nice pretty little container to put my empties in and then she sent me a, a really nice long note um this is her and i'm kind of excited to show this to you too because some of you can try this stuff because she said this is her favorite beach spray of all times and it is the i already know i like this hairspray it's the healthy sexy hair soy renewal beach spray Beach Look Conditioning and Texturizing Spray with Argan Oil, which I think is so interesting because a lot of those beach sprays are, you know, they're going to dry out your hair, and they make it kind of like a crispy feeling, and I don't like that, so I'm looking forward to trying this to give me texture and that separation, but not being dry, so I'm looking forward to trying that, and Brooke is too. I showed it to her. I'm also going to share this with Brooke. It is a scarf, and I love that it's like the deep blue with mustaches all over. So cute. You know, I love stuff like that. I love that just, I don't know, that's something different, something interesting on your outfit. Two really cute cards. Look at that. It's a birthday card. I love that little dachshund. And then I believe this one has, let's see, shoes. Yes. I love that. I need to make a big collage of my shoe cards. And then here is another little thing she had made for me, my Happy Friday basket. So now, 
I can, instead of having this stuff everywhere, I can just put it in a basket to bring out here to show you guys. So thank you so much. That was so sweet, kind. You guys are this just This is a bracelet. She actually sent one to Brooke too, and I believe Brooke has hers on. She has been wearing it ever since I gave it to her. And this is the one she got from me. And you guys might have heard of these. I have never, but it's Alex and Annie Energy Mermaid Love Mystery. And Brooks is girl power. And Brooks has some, I can't remember what hers has on it right now, but it, they all have, this one has the mermaid charm, but they all have these little charms um, that say stuff like, re, I think, it, does it say recycle? Um, energy. Anyway, it's all that stuff that Brooke likes anyway. Because um, Brooke's all into, oh, the latest thing is, you know, being a hipster. <laughs> and she's into you know that recycle reuse you know not that she shouldn't be but you know what i mean but i love the design of this too see how the mermaid is on that certain part i just think it is so cool so i might even put it on today with my bangles but and then it has the little charms i wish i could that one just says energy um this one says oh gosh alex and it says the brand alex and annie and then what does this one say? I wish I could read it. It's so small. But anyway, I will put, I'll put the name right here so you can look it up on their website because it was really cute and it would be an awesome gift. It was an awesome gift. Then, of course, everything has its, um, you know, its story behind it. She gave me this, take it away, total makeup remover, um, some lip combos that she loves. Let's see, the Soft Amethyst Estee Lauder. And then this is one of her favorite lip liners. And I don't see think all about this. pink from L'Oreal. And she said she likes to use this with Revlon's um, Rose Amethyst. It's just a different Rose Amethyst. And then this nail polish, which is Midnight Cami, a pretty dark blue. Okay, I'll put all this stuff back in here. I know, I know you're thinking, oh my goodness. Okay, then the Tom Ford lipstick, these beautiful earrings. I told her I love these because I think they'll show through my hair. And the brand is Bamboo Trading Company. And they're real light, too. And she sent me this brush to try. It is the Sephora Pro Airbrush 55. It's the new one. And to just compare it to this the older one. Then she sent me some of the backup Rimmel. Let's see, to nude or not to nude. And this is the Let's Get Naked, those good colors that came out not too long ago. These, I've never tried these. She says this is her favorite makeup tool. She uses it every day. And it is the All May Makeup Eraser Sticks. And I can really use these if I, I don't do it much, but if I ever put black or any of those colors on my waterline, especially those Trish McAvoy, they stay so well, but... Uh, the fact that I'm not used to using uh, makeup or eyeliner on my waterline, sometimes it makes it hard for me to get it off, and it kind of bothers me. I, I end up just taking a regular Q-tip sometimes, but this will be good for that, to get that extra eyeliner off. Then she sent me two. I'm going to take out one of these today and put it in the car. But the peach, this is like the best lip gloss of all times, of, especially of all Revlon's times, but it's peach. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Um keep wanting to say peach nectar, peach petal, peach petal from Revlon. See how thoughtful all this is? You guys are just so thoughtful. One of her favorite nail polishes for the summer is Orly Rage. I think that would look good on an accent. I know I probably too. missed something because I've been using some of it. So thank you so much, Grace. I sent you an email. I hope you got it. And um, so I will be right back with my casual outfit of the day. And I'm let you guys go. The right hardest now. time deciding what shoes to put on. <laughs> I could put so many. When you wear all black, you can put so many different shoes. So I don't know. I might change them. But anyway, I put some on. So today I just it's got a little nip in the air, and I just I don't know. I didn't feel inspired to wear a dress or anything. So that's what I love about my Johnny Cash obsession. All black obsession is it's so easy. So I just put on my um, little short leather jacket and this one's really light um it's lined with just like a silky but it's just kind of like a lightweight jacket and um, it's the one i got last year at wilson 
Wilson Leather in Myrtle Beach. And um, it's the Moto zip kind, but I always leave it open. And then my tank is the James Purse tank. My jeans are the Citizens of Humanity. They're the Abaddon skinnies. I love them. They're like wearing pajamas. The shoes I decided and on are just my silver Kate Spade licorice. Yesterday I wore my Valentinos my black ones um and i could have just done so many things i mean i could have worn my nude my black um you could throw a color you could even put the green ones on or red or whatever but um these are just really really comfortable and um, i just thought you know they were kind of like a nude but just not nude <laughs> These are really, they're, I got them on sale and they're really awesome shoes. Still carrying my Valentino yeah. bag. I love it. It has just been the best bag. It's just very, very user friendly and it goes with everything and I love okay, it. Okay, and for accessories, I have on my ever faithful Sheila Fajal hoops. I'm supposed to get a new shipment of these today. Um, she sent them out to me. I'm sorry, I've got a, I can't find it, but I've got a. It, oh, I feel it somewhere. There it is. It's still attached. So she sent me a new shipment of them day before yesterday, and they're supposed to get here today. So hopefully they'll be on my website tonight. And um, other, I've got on my Dean Davidson stack pyramid rings. I've got on my bangles from Sheila Fajal. I've also got these on my website. And then I've got um, my... Leelena. When I put all this on, I wasn't really planning on wearing my jacket at that moment. So, anyway. And anything else? I don't have on any fragrance because my sinuses are so messed up. I'm scared that it might Okay, and I think that's me. it. So, I hope you guys have a good weekend. I may see you again this weekend. I'm not sure. It just depends on what we end up doing. And um, I'm very thankful for all of your messages and everything you do, just being here with me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a good weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.